people around me that were so familiar you know, with the books uh, and a director, Francis Lawrence, who is just, in my opinion, the greatest director I've ever worked with. Uh, and so I was lucky to be able to rely heavily on other people to steer me in the right direction. What was your favorite theme to shoot? What was your favorite scene? Uh, there's one scene that I really enjoyed, which was the scene in Mocking Jay Part 1 where Katniss and I are in a bunk bed and I had woken up in the middle of the night and realized that she was up and I figured she was pondering on, you know, her um, future basically in District 13 and what she was planning to do. Um, and so I had this great conversation with her and I just felt like it was a pivotal piece for Prim because it was like her stepping forward and kind of becoming this young woman that people hadn't realized that she was yet. Um, and it kind of was like seeing her grow up just in that scene even. Um, and she just really is there telling Katniss um, basically how to step forward into what um, became you know, the biggest part of the revolution. So I thought it was a pretty cool scene. I think one of my favorite scenes uh, was also in, in Mockingjay Part 1, where uh, Jen and I are sitting by the quarry, and uh, she starts to sing, and uh, that was the first thing that I shot, and I was really nervous. Uh, it was, you know, she's amazing, you know what I mean? And it was, it was, a, it was like a nice life lesson, and because she was very nervous about singing, and, uh, she didn't think that she sounded good when she sang. And, of course, she's not a great, you know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, I just remember thinking, like, okay, it's cool for me to be nervous because no matter where you are in your career, like, you know, you, you still feel those same nerves and maybe you have doubts about something. Uh, so that, in a weird way, gave me a lot of ease, I think, going into the rest of the movie. First of all, great job. Really awesome. All of them. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to know on a personal major is to talk about things. Yeah, for me, you know, I, I, I was sort of struck by the idea that, uh, you know, in our society nowadays, the, the, the gap between the rich and the poor is getting wider and wider. And, uh, you know, this movie certainly touches on that. And, uh, you know, I, I think the thing that was inspiring to me was just that, uh, you know, it really does make you remember that everyone does have a voice, no matter who it is. Your age or gender, everyone does have a voice. Uh, if you care enough, and, you know, you put your heart into something, you actually can change things. I just uh, want to know about what it was like shooting with those lizard mutts. It's like the scariest <laughs> thing in the movie. No, what it actually look like was the set? funniest thing in the world because it was just a bunch of stunt guys and onesies uh -huh. with little dots all over them, you know what I mean? We're supposed to be terrified, so it was, uh, it was hilarious. Um, that was a day where you're like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm an actor, I gotta, gotta keep a straight <laughs> face and be bit. really scared right now. Um, that was really fun. Uh, actually, I remember when we were shooting, um, I was bugging Francis constantly because I, I wanted to direct someday. And so I was always in his ear asking him tons of questions and stuff. And, uh, he actually let me watch just a little section, and uh, I don't know if you know this, but Francis uh, listens to music a lot when there's a scene where there isn't any dialogue, and uh, he was listening to some music from Gravity, and uh, he just played back this little bit of us running through these tunnels, and uh, I just was like, this is going to be awesome, you know what I mean? I was just like, I can't, I can't believe in this movie, and it was, yeah, it was really exciting. Obviously, it's kind of the symbol of hope and then what becomes the rebellion and the revolutions. 
So um, I think it's really cool to have it there for fans to see because up close and personal, it seems even more real. Um, and so I think, I think that's my favorite. I, my favorite stuff was uh, the stuff from the movies that I wasn't in because <laughs> I'm also like a, a film fan, you know, I'm a little bit of like a movie nerd. I watch a lot of movies and talk about it with my friends and stuff. And, uh, I really enjoyed those first two movies, so to be able to come and, and see that stuff as a fan, and not as you know, an actor, that was pretty cool. For me. I think we have time for one more uh, question before we can go through the photos. Anyone? Really? Okay. There's not oh, one more question. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I have like a silly question. Um, I really love the scene where you were um, speaking sign language. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I didn't, um, luckily one of the PAs on our set, uh, majored in sign language, uh, so I immediately, like, pulled him aside, you know, was talking a lot with Peter and also Francis, and it actually sort of, um, came from a conversation that 